Okay, so welcome to this next video in which we are discussing the anthrax toxin. Okay, so we were in the process of discussing uh, the composition of lipid rafts. Now, we've just discussed the structure of a glycosphingolipid, which is one of the key components of uh, lipid rafts portions of the uh, plasma membrane. Now we're going to discuss the structure of cholesterol and ergosterol, which are the other two important components of uh, lipid rafts. Okay, so cholesterol and ergosterol are both sterols, basically, and this means that they have a steroid structure, which is a structure involving four um, uh, rings, basically, and then they also have an alcohol group off the steroid structure. So let me show you the structure of a steroid, and then I'll show you the structure of a sterol. Okay, so steroids basically have uh, this characteristic uh, four-ringed structure. Okay, so they have four of these cyclohex, well, actually three cyclohexane, and then a cyclopentane ring linked on. Okay, so here's the third ring of the steroid structure now, and then finally the fourth ring is over here, and the fourth ring then is a pentameric ring. Now all of the bonds between the carbons at each of these uh, corner points are single bonds, okay? So remember this is a skeletal structure, so we don't show hydrogens coming off the carbons. But wherever you have a carbon that has too few bonds, that will be uh, because there are hydrogens coming off that carbon. So, for instance, if we take this carbon here, it's only got two bonds uh, that we can see coming off it, which means that the other two bonds will be to hydrogen atoms coming off that carbon. Okay, right, so this is the steroid structure that we've shown now. So all steroids have this structure within them. Okay, now a sterol is basically a steroid which has got an alcohol group down here. Okay, so now that is the sterol structure. Okay, now cholesterol and ergosterol are going to be examples of sterols. So let's take this structure and now modify it into cholesterol. Okay, so to turn it into cholesterol then, uh, we don't actually have to do that many modifications at all. Firstly, we'll change this to a double bond here, so uh, it was a single bond, now it's a double bond. Okay, we'll also stick a few methyl groups off, so off this carbon here we'll put a methyl group, and off this carbon up here we'll put a methyl group, and then off this carbon right up here we'll stick a quite fancy group which consists of these uh, seven carbons then with a methyl group coming off it, so let me show you this. So. This is going to be a seven carbon molecule which will then have a methyl group. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's the seven carbon molecule. And then you'll have a methyl group coming off here. So it's kind of beautifully symmetric, that um, group that's coming off here. Okay, and that now is the structure of cholesterol. And you have this molecule present within lipid rafts. Okay, now let me show you the structure of ergo ergosterol. Okay, so again, it's based on the sterol structure, and it, it has a very similar to structure to cholesterol. Okay, it's just a modified form of cholesterol, but I will draw out a separate diagram for it rather than altering my diagram for cholesterol. Okay, so let's start off by drawing the four steroid rings then. Okay, so here's the third one. And then finally, the fourth ring over here. Okay, now, uh, the you need an alcohol group coming off here because it's a sterol, not a steroid. And, well, sterols are steroids, but uh, they're a specific type of steroid. Okay, then again, we're going to have a double bond here. We're also now going to have a double bond here, which, of course, we didn't have in cholesterol. We're going to have a methyl group off this carbon here, a methyl group off that carbon there, and then we're also going to have this structure coming off up here. Now, it's very similar, again, to cholesterol. So I'll draw the same structure again as we have for cholesterol. Okay, and now we're just going to modify it a little bit. We're going to change this bond here to a double bond, and we're going to stick another methyl group coming off there. And that now is the structure of ergosterol. Okay, right. Uh, so, 
these two molecules, cholesterol and ergosterol, are also within lipid rafts. Okay, so I hope you now understand what a lipid raft is. It's just a raft within the normal glycerolipid uh, phospholipid bilayer. And it's just this section where, instead of having the normal glycerolipids, instead you have loads of glycosphingolipids, specifically ganglicides, and also cholesterol and ergosterol molecules. So it's a, a spot, basically, on the plasma membrane where you have odd, uh, phos well, odd lipid molecules making up that uh, bilayer there.